this is a piece of paper. Can Lindsay zoom in on it? This is an eviction notice, I believe, to anybody older than five who's not vaccinated is getting evicted from Ronald McDonald House. So I'm just gonna go talk to people at the counter and see if it's legit or not. Um, do you have like a, a manager here or somebody that you talk to? Um, it's about this letter we got. It's about saying everybody here has to be vaccinated. Hey. Well, I'm just asking. Like, like we got this last night. And, yes. Uh, it's just pretty disturbing. I'm just wondering, is this legit? Is this saying that like everybody who's not vaccinated is getting evicted? No, we have a grace period to which you can uh, get your first dose. Yeah. But essentially, as of January 17th, it's a board mandate from our. From our so I just want to get this straight. So by the end of the month, my four-year-old boy with leukemia is getting evicted. Because we don't have a vaccine. The parents. This is if he was six months older, he would be getting it. But yeah, because we don't have the vaccine, you're going to throw us on the snow with a few weeks' notice. Like this is some kind of crazy evil. Like I have never seen in my life. It doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not. Everybody knows you're supposed to wear the masks because you can go out. And catch COVID, transmit it, and bring it back in. That's why vaccinated people have to wear masks, though, so it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not. So just, like, the idea is to make people safer. This isn't about safety. This is, this is coercing people to get a vaccine, choosing between their children and their own beliefs, whether it's religious beliefs, whether they're hesitant to get a vaccine. My kid has gotten all his vaccines. We're not anti vaccinated. This is absolutely an abomination. Okay, so, just let me get this clear. Are you both of you vaccinated? No. Okay. So what we're doing is protecting the safety of everybody in the house. No, you're not. Because a vaccinated person can still get it and transmit it. That's right. And so what we're trying to do is reduce our risks to the entire That doesn't make sense. Your conscience is seared. Do you understand? This is absolutely evil. So do you want me to... You're evicting kids with leukemia. Kids who have strokes. So Kids with Down syndrome, do you understand how evil this is? Would you like to, would you like to just... Where are we going to go? Are you... It's hard enough to get by and everything. Are you staying, are you, are you, um, using BCFRC? <coughs> are you being funded through, uh, through BCFRC to stay here? We're talking for kids that's helping us out and then... Okay. And so then, how long have you been here? We've been here for months. We have all our stuff here. Yeah. And we're still here till June. Totally understand that. Completely understand that. Oh, no matter what your beliefs are, no matter what country you're from or anything, everybody supports sick kids. Everybody thinks kids would be supported. And you're saying that over a vaccine, you're going to evict kids. Like, think about what our national anthem says. Like, this is not Canada. This is an absolute disgrace to our country. To be saying that, no, you're sick with leukemia, he's not welcome here anymore? I thought we were a country that stood against segregation. And now you're about to set up a room and scan people's vaccine passports and say, this group of people can stay and this people, group of people, you're going outside. Like, this is just so messed up. And I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, the, this country's conscience is seared. This is, this is what we think is good and moral and, and safe because there's absolutely no coherent thought to this at all anybody can transmit COVID. a vaccinated person unvaccinated person omicron is 80 percent less deadly than the previous variants and we're strangling people even more now this is absolutely insane so i'm just saying like like don't think you guys are just going to get away with this because we're, we're going to fight this and just expose this to people because this is like, this is a great evil that has been done today to evict sick kids with three weeks notice. We're giving you an opportunity, and since he's under five, he doesn't need to be vaccinated, but certainly the parents stay here daily.
but if he was six months older. You would evict a five-year-old with leukemia. If he has a accommodation through the hospital, it's the parents. It's okay. Set up his it's parents, okay. So. People, who are, people whose consciences are still intact, people who still believe in things like love your neighbor and don't believe in segregation will know that this is wrong. So what are we... There are states in the U.S. that have no problems and they never did one regulation, one mandate, they're totally open. This, people, the whole world is laughing at us. And yeah. also, think about Australia. If you have COVID, they take you away to a camp for two weeks. So I hear what you're saying. You know, this is absolutely that. crazy. So why don't I just get your room number and we can also set you up for further questions that you might have. What room number are you in? It's 232. 232. Okay. I don't want to do this. I'm not, I'm an agreeable person. I hate confrontation. But this is so bad. As a man of God, I'm so mad. Like, this cannot be. <laughs> Like, this is segregation. That's how great, crazy people are. They, they say, my body, my choice, my body, my choice. What about my wife, my, her body, her choice? She, it's okay, she wants to get third trimester abortion, her body, her choice. But now she doesn't want to get a vaccine that all it does is offer, reduces your chances of hospitalization and death? Like, how does that keep everybody here safe? So thank you for, for letting me know your thoughts. It's, it's, common sense is logic. This is the truth. This is coercion to try to make people choose between their children and against their conscience. It's wrong. The social worker will help. Work yeah, I know. I'm going to call my social worker. She's yeah. great. Okay. I'm going to go to breakfast. Okay.